guys welcome back to my channel i hope you guys are having an amazing day so in today's video you guys are going to be decorating my kitchen and my family room for spring so i went out to um i only bought a few things to decorate my kitchen for spring so i didn't go crazy but i got a few things from amazon then i also found a few things from joanne fabric if you're looking for some spring decor joanne fabric does have all of their spring and easter uh, items on sale for 50 percent off so you definitely clean up on some deals there and i believe michael's have all of their spring florals on sale as well for 40 percent off so make sure you check out some of those sales and um save you a little bit of coins but yeah but before we get started you guys today's video is sponsored by allison so allison is a company that makes motorized shades and they was kind enough to send me out some beautiful motorized shades for my kitchen as well as my family room so i'm going to share with you in the clip i absolutely love these shades because for one, it gives me the blackout privacy that I need, but it also gives me that luxe look uh, without breaking the bank. So I absolutely love these shades. The best part is that they run by USB. So all you have to do is just charge it up. Now, before you hang the blinds, I didn't show the installation process because my husband did go ahead and um, install them for me. But all you have to do is make sure you charge up the blinds before you actually hang them. And they do, you do have to charge them up with the USB, ca uh, USB cable once the battery is depleted. But I, don't, I still don't know how long the battery will last. I need to look that information up and then I can share that with you all. But yeah, but the best part is that it runs by remote control. And then you can also sync all of the blinds onto one remote, which is absolutely amazing. So Allison has different kinds of roller shades that you can choose from. I chose the dual zebra shades because I like the sleek modern design of it. And then I also love these because it also combines modern technology as well as privacy with these shades. I love the sleek design of it and I do love that it still gives me that blackout feature when I need it. Now ordering your shades is very simple. Everything is customized to your window. So you can choose your, you definitely need to measure your window and the height and the length of the window. Then you can also choose your color. You also need to decide on if you want your blinds to be inside mounted or outside mounted. And then you just want to make sure that you have the exact measurements of your uh, window before you order your blinds. But everything is customized to your Pacific window, which I absolutely love. I love that they combine the modern technology with these roller shades. So you don't have to worry about hand rolling them or anything like that. You can choose two different types of power supply options where there's a USB charging port or either a solar charging port. I chose the USB. So when the battery is depleted, I do have to take the blinds down and um, charge them up. But if you have a bed, you can also charge them while they're still um, intact as well, depending on the height of your window. You can also sync your blinds to turn on and off with Alexa as well, which I really think is a really good feature. So thank you again to Allison for sponsoring today's video. Okay, you guys, so we're going to start decorating my kitchen for spring. So I'm going to start on this side of my kitchen counters and I'm going to create a vignette. I love to create little vignettes around my kitchen because it gives me a little way of displaying decor or displaying different um, ideas, decorating ideas for the upcoming season. So I love using, utilizing vignettes. So basically I'm taking in these two pieces of artwork and I'm going to layer them together to kind of give me a curated look. I'm going to add in this light. I love adding um, extra light in my kitchen when I can. I got that lamp from Target. And then the artwork came from, um, the smaller piece came from Target and then that larger piece came from Amazon. I always add in my everyday cookbooks and I do utilize these cookbooks so I do like to keep them in my kitchen at hand. And then I'm gonna finish off the look with a scented candle. I love just having that fresh aroma throughout my home that makes my home smell good. So I'm using this candle holder I got from Target. And then I'm gonna add in this gardenia candle, candle that I got from um, Bath & Body Works, which smells amazing. If you're looking for a really strong floral scent that you will love for spring and summer, this candle is definitely uh, highly recommended. I'm going to add in this this kind of smoky glass vase. I got this from the at home store and I'm going to add in these really pretty tulips. I got these from Amazon. These are very affordable. They look super realistic, you guys. So I have a link down in the description box below if you are interested. As you can see here, they're really easy to work with. When I think of spring, I think of adding in those really soft pastel colors. I think of tulips blooming and cherry blossoms. And I just really like to incorporate some of those things inside of my home for spring and then the Easter season as well. So 
we're gonna come over here on this side of my kitchen I had this cute little marble tray that I got from Amazon as well I have it linked I really love this pedestal marble tray It's very affordable and it gives me a little opportunity to set all of my um, everyday kitchen essentials on it as well so I just have my olive oil and cooking oil I have my little salt dispenser that I cook uh, that I keep my little Himalayan salt in and then I'm also gonna add in some decorative bowls and a floral arrangement and a little bunny rabbit for um, Easter now you see me decorate with these cutting boards but I'll end up taking those off because I didn't like the way they look I just thought it was looking a little bit too cluttered so I end up removing those but that little bunny rabbit I got from home goods the little decorative bowls are really pretty I got those from home goods as well and then I this little small vase came from West Elm and then I'm gonna add more of those faux tulips it is really pretty pink blush color that I got from Amazon And then at the bottom of this tray, you can also set a few things under it as well. So I'm gonna add in another one of my favorite cookbooks to underneath it. Then I love adding in decorative kitchen towels for the season. I found these really pretty bunny um, kitchen towels from Home Goods. I love the blush pink and the white that it had on there. Really pretty. So these are the, I think this is the Martha Stewart, um, Martha Stewart brand. So those are really cute. I'm going to add to my stove. And then I'm going to start off, I love decorating my island and changing it out for the season. This is one really simple way that you can do. If you don't want to decorate your whole kitchen for the upcoming season, you definitely can just change out a few pieces on your island. If you don't have an island, you definitely can just add a few little decorative pieces on your kitchen counter to kind of give you a nice um, up, upgrade or refresh for the season. So I'm going to add in these beautiful stems. I got these from Joann's. And Joann's, like I said, had all of their... Uh, spring decor and Easter decor on sale for 50% off. I like these stems because they're very kind of thin and dainty. They almost remind me of cherry blossoms, but they're kind of like a thinner version. And so I absolutely love it. It almost have kind of like that papery felt material, which I, I thought was really cute for the um, season. They're really easy to work with, and I'm going to add them into this vase. I love this vase. I got headed for a while. I got this vase from Kirkland's a few years ago. I absolutely love it. Then next I'm gonna add in this decorative bowl. I got this bowl from Target a few years back. And de using decorative bowls around your kitchen or your home is just really kind of gives you a curated, curated look. And then you don't just have to put any, um, use it for fruit or vegetables. You can definitely use these bowls to style different looks as well in your home. So I added this real moss here that I got from Hobby Lobby. And I'm gonna add in more of those faux tulips from Amazon. And then also I'm gonna add these cute little moss green um, bunny rabbits that I got from Joanne as well. I thought these were so super cute. So yeah, so I have like three different sizes here. So I really wanted to add a pop of greenery to my kitchen, so I thought it would be really cool to hang up some plants facing my window or right below my window just to give it a pop of greenery on this side. So I got these hanging planters from Amazon. So I have everything linked that I absolutely can. And then I had I just added those vining um, photo plants in there as well. So this is the overall look of my kitchen. I absolutely love how everything has turned out. I did go ahead and add that tulip wreath. I had that for many years. I got that one from Home Goods a while ago. So next in my family room area, I don't do a whole lot, but I do change out my throw pillows. All of these pillows, where well, these pillows right here are pillow covers. If I can find the link and if the, um, I got these pillows by uh, from an Instagram influencer. If she still have them available, I'll have them linked down in the description box below. But these smaller ones actually came from Target. So absolutely, I think I shared these with you guys um, before. So I think I can have those linked in the description if you guys are interested. 
but yeah usually in my family room i don't do a whole lot i just change out my throw pillows and then i change out a few throw blankets just kind of taking out those wintry items and adding in lighter colors and lighter um thinner um fabrics and everything since we are heading over to the spring season Then on my coffee table, I'm gonna add in this brass tray. This brass tray came from Target. I'm gonna add in some coffee table books. I'm gonna add in this cute little symbol vase I got from Timu. And then I'm gonna add in more of those tulips just to add in the pop of, of that pink over here on this side. My house is pretty much neutral, but if y'all been following me for a while, y'all know I love to add in pops of color for the seasons, whether it's the spring or the fall. I just think having a neutral background just gives you the opportunity to go ahead and add in those pops of colors when you want without changing your whole look of your house. And then I'm just going to add in a decorative knot on the table, and then that's it for the coffee table, you guys. And then over here, I always like to kind of add in um, a tall vase or something in this little cutout. So I'm going to add in this black vase. I got this from Home Goods, and I'm going to add in some magnolia flowers. These magnolia flowers, I believe I got from um, Michael's. And I'm just going to add in like three of those big magnolia flowers and then a couple of the green beaded stems. So on my fireplace, I'm just gonna keep it simple. I'm gonna add in these candlesticks. I got these from at home store. I'm gonna add in some of those spiral candles that I got from um, Hobby Lobby. And then I'm gonna add in a decorative bowl. This decorative bowl came from Home Goods, and I'm just gonna add in a few moss balls. But that is it for you guys for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope you guys um, got some spring home decor inspiration. Make sure you have on your post notifications so you don't miss any of my uploads. Definitely stay tuned because we're going to be doing more spring decorating. I still have to do my main living room and my dining room and my master bedroom. So definitely keep on the lookout for those videos. And then I thank you all so, so much for watching. And I'll see you all in my next one. Bye.